Now, in mystical Judaism, I'll just mention this. I thought this was interesting. There's something called gematria. This is kind of like a numerological interpretation of sacred texts. So as Muslims, you know, we, we should be careful of these things. Take them with a grain of salt, as one of my teachers said. Perhaps there's something to this, but we should never be dogmatic or insistent about these things. Right? They say too much salt on a meal spoils the dish. Nonetheless, some interesting numerological correspondences have been pointed out to me by my Jewish colleagues. I have Jewish, when I used to work at a Catholic school, uh, the rabbi professor came to me and he pointed these things out to me. He said in Genesis 17, 20, God said to Abraham that we would multiply Ishmael exceedingly. The word exceedingly, he says in Hebrew is bimod meod, which translates as exceedingly. And he said the numerical value of this is 92 exactly. And he said the phrase as a great nation, the goy gadol, is it also exactly 92, the numerical value. And he said, did you know that the numerical value of Muhammad وسلم, in Hebrew, mem chet mam dalet, is exactly 92? This subtlety did not escape the notice of Hebrew exegetes. And there are Jewish scholars who admit that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is a fulfillment of this verse, Genesis 17, 20. They admit this. They admit that this verse is predicting the Muslim Ummah under the Prophet Muhammad You'll find this in their classical literature. This is the position of a famous 11th century Tunisian rabbi named Hananel ben Khushiel. People can look this up. The famous Spanish rabbi and Torah commentator, Bahia ben Asher, he quoted Rabbi Hanael. This is what he said, quote, Once this prophecy came true, Islam conquered the civilized world like a whirlwind. We, the Jewish people, lost our position of preeminence in the world due to our sins, end quote. They know that this verse is describing the Prophet